Well, good day everybody, welcome back. It's absolutely beautiful out today. Um, sun's shining, it's a little windy, not gonna lie, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I want to talk to everybody today about the uh, Zuzin sawmill. Uh, I did some milling with some uh, bigger pieces. I did a video on it and I didn't even tell anybody what I was using or anything about it. I just posted a video of this, you know, saw going through a piece of wood with a uh, mill. And uh, it's a kind of unique looking mill, but it's just the Alaskan style mill. Um, it is a little different than most of the mills I've come across. Uh, I do like it so far, but uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about like my opinion on it. I guess you would say I don't, you know, I'm not a professional. This is the, really the first Alaskan style mill I've owned. And uh, these are just my thoughts on the mill so far and the reasons why I chose this one. It's uh, you know another Amazon buy I'm not spending the big dollars on things I just had to mill a few pieces of wood I really don't have that much big uh, lumber on the property so we uh, ended up milling some larger pieces I think the widest it was at was 32 or 33 inches or something like that that I, I, I milled with it and I'm not gonna lie it was quite the workout so I'll uh, spin it around and let you guys see the uh, mill now So this here is the Zuzin <laughs> mill. Uh, it's a decent little thing. Don't mind the garbage bags blowing around. Like I said, it's windy today. A um, couple things I like about it is, one is the way the handle is. I'm going to step back so you can get a good look at it. So this handle right here, that there is a big deal to me. Trying that that's as far as I can go anyhow this this made a difference so the thing I like about it is I've got it on a bit of an angle this way so when I'm pushing my, my, my machine is here my power head is here of my saw and the blade is running through those brackets down there and when I'm pushing I can angle this just a little bit and it allows me to put more pressure on the front of the mill um, which is where I found I needed it um, and I just picked that just because it looked more sane to me it's a decent little unit. Uh, there's some little things that are funny, like it has all your measurements here, um, but they aren't actually accurate to what it would be from here to here. But I, like I said, I don't know a lot about this. I just use tape measure, and then the numbers lined them up. You know, if it's you know six and a bit here, or five and what's that? Five and seven eighths here. And then I went five and seven eighths over there, and it, it worked perfectly. It kept it straight, so I'm not complaining. Um, it's pretty easy to put together. Just a couple little splice rails there. I was running a 36 inch uh, bar on this and that's not even close to the end of the width. So I'm assuming this this mill can probably put like a 42, maybe a 44 inch bar. I don't know, uh, but it can definitely put a bigger bar. So another couple things about it that I really liked was it has bigger nuts. Um, these don't really come loose, but they're not nylon, so it doesn't take a million years to loosen them and tighten them when you got to adjust it and move things. Um, the major buy for me was underneath here, on the bottom of the mill, everybody was complaining these were coming loose and everybody was buying nylon nuts as soon as they got their machine, they should buy nylon nuts. Um, and this is the part that holds your blade. You, you really don't want this coming loose. This part here holds your blade. And um, you don't want to over tighten it either, but you, when you got it to where you need it, you want it to stay there. So the neat thing they did is they welded the nut inside the tube here. Right here, they welded this inside of there. So this bolt actually threads into this here welded nut on the tube, and then this locks it in. So once you tighten that bottom nut when you have it where you need it, um, this stays exactly where you need it to stay. And I really, really like that. I didn't have to buy anything extra and these never came loose when I milled all of these pieces here. Don't mind the garbage bags, but I think I got eight pieces and they're about 30 inches wide on average and they are uh, hardwood. So it was a real challenge and that's the poor saw that had to do it. <laughs> and believe it or not, this, like I said, uh, the Neotech, it's the way to go for the money because other than the crappy leaky caps, um, the saw itself is great. The 
bars and chains aren't the greatest you know they're they're lower grade but they do the trick it milled all this up for me and this is really the biggest piece of wood oh hey there's a beer there this is the biggest piece of wood i had to mill on the property so i use a standard method i threw a little piece of two by four on the log at the end here and then i threw two more two by fours on top to make the rail for the very first cut then after that i just used the mill against the wood and away i went now, i'm not saying they're perfect because they're definitely not perfect uh, but this is the first time i've ever done this and i was just playing around and i think this mill on amazon was a hundred and ten dollars or something like that i think it was maybe five or ten bucks more than all the other ones but for the money you get the color red which i liked uh, it matches all my other equipment i have a black and red side by side and we have a black and red log splitter i have some black and red saws so i like that and i like this handle the handle that sticks up here for me didn't make sense it seemed like it was going to tilt this bracket this way which would make it harder to push it across the log so i preferred this in my just judgment buying it I, I like i said i've never owned one with the handle up here maybe they are better maybe they aren't you know maybe leave your opinion in the comments down below that is after you like and um turn on notifications and subscribe to the video because apparently you have to do that on youtube for them to keep putting your videos up and you allow how you store your stuff there basically i like it because i can post a video and have friends and family from all over the world check it out and we can do it back and forth kind of thing right and everybody gets to learn something but it's a very very nice uh, mill in my opinion as not being a professional I've only done one big log so far I do plan on doing a pile of planks with it I'll put a smaller bar on this saw here that's a 92 cc and once I put a smaller bar on this which is a 24 that I have it will go fast through a piece of spruce that's only you know 20 inches wide so this will here will move down to here um you just move that bracket to like somewhere in this area and then the handle will be over here and i'll have the power head hanging off the end there and i'll rip through <laughs> uh, I, I i it'd be very quick it wouldn't take it long i mean it went through this here i, I think each cut on average is probably about 10 to 15 minutes um, but you're talking about somebody who doesn't know what they're doing and I'm not a super strong person. I'm not in physically great shape either. So I had to take quite a few breaks. It is a workout. It is a workout to do this. This is not an easy job. But I want to give props to the Zuzan uh, chainsaw mill because it is a decent product so far. Um, you know, for the money, you can't beat it. I do have a book around here somewhere about it well that may have blown away in the wind but you don't need much it comes with instructions on how to assemble it and it's very basic uh it's pretty straightforward if you just look at the pictures they also have a video online uh, for the assembly which i never had to look at because it was very very straightforward um <laughs> just gotta make sure you do it properly i believe it assembled left to right so but Basically, I just want to touch base on this saw and uh, on this mill that I use to mill all this beautiful hardwood. <laughs> you really can't beat it for the money. I mean, I don't know what these would cost in a store, but I'm sure they're a lot more than $100 each piece. And they're not dried yet. They have to be dried and cured, so I'm going to put them in the upstairs in my garage attic, which is over there, up on that roof there up in there that's all just uh, empty space so i'm going to put them along the rafters here and hopefully they dry up nice uh, somebody mentioned i should paint the ends of them so they don't split like you can see this one's here is doing it's splitting i was told to paint these ends so i'm going to do that soon and then i'm going to put them up inside the garage and muscle them up there <laughs> a couple hundred pounds or at least 100 pounds each i would say and then uh Hopefully they dry up nice and I can make some nice tables and benches and, you know, maybe a desk or something out of them. But they've got a beautiful live edge bark. Um, and like I said, this mill was almost effortless and it's not heavy. It's very, very light. You can lift it with one hand. That's just one hand lifting that. I mean, I'm not saying it's super light, but it's light enough that I'm holding my arm almost fully extended and lifting that up. So, you know, mostly aluminum, and it's not cheap aluminum. 
This is solid quality aluminum. As long as you put it together properly, you should have no problem. Make sure you tighten all your set screws on these splicing bars, which to me at first I was like, eh, kind of sketchy. But it's nice because the mill can be broken down into a much smaller piece of equipment. You know, you can take this piece to this off and just run it from here to here. So when I make my bar smaller, I won't need this end hanging off and being in my way when I've got to transport in the side by side or go way out the back in the forest and I'm carrying it. I don't have it getting caught up on everything. And it's much lighter when I make it smaller, right? So it is nice um, to be able to do that. So I wouldn't want the solid aluminum bar. I like this adjustable size. It goes all the way down to like, I think a 16 or a 20 inch bar can go in this, all the way up to a 40 something. I don't know the specs exactly. Uh, like I said, first one, but so far so good. I'm really, really enjoying it and having fun. Um, I'll do another video on my little bean mill. If I haven't done one already, I'll have to check, but I, I'm also using that quite a bit and it's working really, really good. Um, so making beams and planks I guess <laughs> and that's what I'm doing so until I get out there and start doing some more work and you can see it in action um, I guess I won't be posting anything and then I'm gonna have a bunch of other videos coming up that I gotta do but you know it's endless it's endless when you're in the woods and trying to get stuff done <laughs> and the way money is right now and the way that wood is right now it's it's insane with inflation and everything i couldn't imagine trying to go out and buy you know 16 foot true 4x4 posts like i'm milling in the backyard right now for an hour of my time a post right so it's 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 a matter of the time and uh, the quality of the wood too so that's that's the other thing the wood quality is gone like look at this 2x4 I bought that. That's supposed to be a grade A 2 by 4 What what is that? You see that? That's unbelievable. And it's unacceptable. Yeah, there's one finished side to this 2 by 4 I don't remember, you know, 2 by 4s looking like that. And I didn't buy these lot that long ago. They're only I mean, a month old. And they charged me literally an arm and a leg for them. That's when I said to myself, I'll pay the hundred dollars for this and mail my wood, I mean for building a shed and you know stuff for your chickens or livestock anything that doesn't need inspecting why wouldn't you mill your own wood so something to think about and just a quick little review of the Zuzin um, chainsaw mill Alaskan style chainsaw mill this is not an Alaskan mill I think that's a brand name but it's Alaskan style I'm gonna call it so anyhow Give me your thoughts on these mills, and if you know anything about them, I don't, which I'm sure you do, throw a comment down there. Peace out.